Good afternoon and welcome to the Bristol Herald Courier's update on COVID-19 and its impacts on our region. It's Friday, May 22nd. I'm David McGee. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee today issuing Executive Order Number 38, which allows groups of up to 50 people to participate in social and recreational activities while encouraging strong social distancing measures. The order permits more Tennesseans and businesses to return to work in all industries where they can be safely accomplished and by following health guidelines and maintaining social distancing from persons outside their household. Sullivan County can issue different orders since it has its own health department. We also announcing today that between May 1st and May 20th, Tennessee conducted about 177,000 COVID-19 tests. That's more than all previous weeks combined. The state currently conducts on average about 8,700 tests per day. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam spoke today about the possibility of requiring people to wear masks or face coverings in public settings. Northam said he's spoken with Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney and he is working through a policy to require those, those uh, garments statewide and how it would be enforced. Northam expects to make an announcement on Tuesday. Northam today unveiled COVID Check, a new free online risk assessment tool that allows people to check their symptoms and connect with the appropriate healthcare resources. If someone feels sick or thinks that they may have been exposed to COVID-19, they can go online to learn more about risks and get recommendations about what to do next. This resource assists in identifying users who are at a higher risk of COVID-19 and can help individuals find a nearby testing site. 315 more people have been hired to help with jobless claims in Virginia in the wake of COVID-19. Governor Northam said 720,000 people have filed for unemployment benefits since the pandemic began. The state's jobless rate has risen from 2.8% to 10.6%. A group of voters is suing Virginia election officials over loosening restrictions on absentee ballots for next month's statewide primary. They're arguing the state can't allow voters to use the coronavirus pandemic as an excuse to vote by mail. The state experienced record absentee voting in this week's local elections after urging voters to claim COVID-19 as the reason. The federal lawsuit was filed last week and claims that social distancing and hygiene practices that are good enough for going to the grocery store should be good enough for the polling place. While most high school seniors across Virginia are not able to graduate on time, that is not the case for Bristol's Virginia High School. Class of 2020 is receiving its diplomas on the start-finish line of Bristol Motor Speedway this afternoon. Bristol, Tennessee municipal buildings and facilities will reopen to the public on Tuesday, May 26th. That includes City Hall and the Municipal Annex. Buildings were closed to the public nine weeks ago in response to the virus. All visitors to city buildings will be subject to health screenings, which include a temperature scan and questions related to potential COVID-19 exposure or symptoms. The same screening process that has been in effect for city employees since this began. In today's case count, Virginia reports 34,950 cases since the pandemic began. That is an increase of 3,800 since Monday. There have been 1,136 deaths statewide. Also since Monday, there are six new cases reported across the 10 counties and two cities of Southwest Virginia. The state reports more than 223,000 tests. More than 6,000 people have been tested in Southwest Virginia. Tennessee has more than 19,000 excuse me, Tennessee has 19,394 cases since this all began. We have one new case in Sullivan County and one in Greene County, Tennessee. The state reports 12,500 people have recovered. There have been 315 deaths. Tennessee has conducted more than 360,000 tests. For more on these and other stories, you can read the Bristol Herald Courier in print or online at heraldcourier.com. Have a safe weekend, everyone.